Okay, this is what's got everybody scared, ladies and gentlemen, and they, everybody needs to quit freaking out. Because what I'm talking about freaking out and scared is Big Brother because they're not allowing this video to, they don't want fear, which I'm not anything about fear. I'm trying to tell everybody how far away everything is. As you see me click, I'm going to click here, click here, and you're seeing that basically they won't let you see Hot Fudge Wow because basically I uploaded this video. And I'm going to be able to show you how many times I've uploaded it and they won't let me. I'm in here at my movie tender at Yahoo. I mean at, sorry. I apologize big time on that, but YouTube. Okay. And basically they won't let it go. So now i got it going in on here like this. I've got this one loaded. So we'll see what happens because basically here's my upload. I'm uploading right now, it's 6% on it. So basically I'm not going to put anything on it for a while and see if we actually can uh, get in here and get it loaded up. Because as you see, they're not allowing. These are two different windows. Because uh, they just don't want uh, you to know about the meatball. Because basically what it is is a backup to this video. Here, right here. It'll make you realize even more that that's absolutely the meatball there. Okay, so I'll eventually get it up, and basically we're making this video because basically we're going to show you this actual, and this is probably because what they're doing is they don't want anybody to try to run with it and scare people and stuff like that because basically this is just another object that came by, and I actually do believe that I've got uh, some footage of it too because someone more than just that picture right there of it going by, okay? Now, what's interesting to me, and the reason you can tell the difference is there usually will be explosions if it's a satellite or a rocket or anything like that. It's coming back down into our atmosphere, breaking up. So, basically, this thing turned into being like a satellite, looking like it, but see how it doesn't do any explosives in front of anything as it's coming through. Basically, I believe it's going this way. You're seeing the head of it here as it's breaking up. So that's what it looks like in the sky when actual space magma, you know, rock, material, whatever something in space is made out of, naturally by, you know, the greater creator and then uh so basically go down through this they've seen it all the way graze the atmosphere <clears throat> and then here is the breakup over ireland and so forth meteoroid meteoroids arrival direction and then basically final entry over canada okay it did a temporary orbit around earth because it hit our atmosphere and then did an orbit because basically it broke through. So, and then we have the close objects that I just showed you in the last couple of videos too. So basically they're trying to, they don't want the meatball being shown too much to make it realize that actually there's something that goddamn big and then okay, well, what if it, you know, because people could start saying, well, yeah, it's going to hit us and because everybody's been doing the uh, Nibiru you see what I'm saying? So we do know we have that object next to, uh, and basically let me go to what I've got going at. I had Nehemiah up. Hang on. And here we go. And what you're going to do is I'm going to backstep, and you're going to see a dark shadow with basically overcast. There's basically been storming, a light storm, not that bad, but enough that they basically didn't go out and do their little fake uh, uh, radar drone. Because basically we know that the dome is right there. Okay. So, but what you're going to see, I will step again ahead. And you can basically see this big shadow here. And basically, 529 UTC. Okay. 1640 UTC. The current time is down there is like 529 UTC is when I recorded this. Okay. 1640 is when it, when it takes place. You see I'll back up. 
or 1630. As I go ahead, there's a, just enough light where you get this big shadow right here. And it's actually outstretched a little bit there. Okay. So basically, currently right now, the sun should be coming up down there right now. Okay. So what we do is we'll go in and we'll look at the south camera and see if we get anything from... Uh, and then I'm also going to go take a look and see what's going on. I haven't been around at Hawaii for a while, so we'll go take a look over Hawaii. But as you see down here on the south pictures, you can see that it was storming somewhat enough and overcast that you really shouldn't have seen that shadow that you just had up on that shot. Okay, so we'll I'll load this one here. I gotta get down to click the live movie and we'll see what's going on if we get anything from the south camera. And as you see right here, I got two different addresses that are on there because basically I tried to upload it and they just won't let it upload. Okay. So we'll try to get it uploaded on the meatball action. As you can see that different address there. So anyway, we'll try to get it up. I got the latest earthquakes there. Chile's had some action. 5.8 and 4.2 tonight. Okay. And then let's go ahead and and we're trying to get that absolutely positive meatball action to here. It's uploading for 17%. So and basically you're going to see it. It's going to come across the sky. Because basically then it gets to dark. But we will. And here's what I call basically mass 50 or 55. And basically it's next to the sun. As you've seen it in the last video. And basically that's what's next to the sun when it comes by down there. Because basically you got overcast. And the sun's not bright hardly at all. And basically, it comes across the sky, and that is up there. And as it flips along besides the sun, down at the South Pole, you can see it. Anywhere else in the country, it's very hard to be able to see it. Okay. Because the sun's very right there, and it's not no blackout. Okay, the camera doesn't undo no blackout because I'm all the way to the top of the film. Okay, if I go back, sun's very bright, and it's that's there. That object is there. Okay, so it's absolutely no argument that it's there. I'll back all the way along here. Backing up in time. There you go. There's the sun first coming up. So it'd be hella bright, right? It would be blacking out if it's a camera doing the blacking out, wouldn't it? We've already proved this like I don't know how many damn times, but they keep on trying to use this stupid ass excuse. So there's the sun coming up, folks. Basically, it's already up. And it's just basically going by in this south. This because this is all in the south. It's nice and bright, and you don't have no black eye object. But when it when the black object comes by, the black object comes by, and I showed you that earlier. So this goes to sun coming up and basically breaking through the clouds and everything like that, and it's just going to be going back to basically being like that. And then you get the object to come across the sky because it broke through this weather here earlier at this 6 UTC time. The sun's up, but then it breaks through. There's the sun. Our object's not there yet. And then our object shows up next to the sun. Right there, you can see it barely there. And I can scoot up the screen a little bit. There you go. And then just like I showed you earlier, I'll just keep going because it'll show up pretty good. It's not there. It is. And there's our object. Okay. So it's up there by the sun. Sun's breaking through the weather and it's basically nice and bright. And you're not seeing anything there. But you've seen our object earlier because it's next to the sun. Okay. The sun's breaking through nice and bright there, through the weather and everything. But it's not a black spot. It's basically an object that's next to the sun, and it's mass 50 or 55. 
something like that, whatever that damn number is on the damn thing. And there it is. So currently the last data are rural way off, as you can see, south pole below and the north pole above, off axis a lot, so we're doing a lot of twirling. There is a lot of CME action. Uh, the sun has been doing a violent rip along this here. And let's take you down and show you what basically we mean on that. This giant, as you can see there, that giant CME comes off. We're getting some giant CMEs off the sun and you're going to see that. And whammo, thank God that that misses us. But we're going to have that CME that's already out there coming and hitting us right here. Okay, and basically right now what we've had is we've had cross phasing again which gives us a good flare CME and basically it is uh, we finally hit the C area again as you see right there just got back into C not really high but as you can see the sun's working on getting back up into the C area again like that right now so I just hit refresh and basically that 4.2 is the newest we got and I just hit her right now for you too so Chile got 4.2 and a 5.8 earlier. You see right there, 5.8 above that. So that's what we got going on recently. So, and then I can drag the bar down and we'll see the 14 days and a heap load. And like, you can't forget about how much we had over in uh, Puerto Rico. I mean, yeah, Puerto Rico, Virgin Island, as you see all those hammer, 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 hammer. It just doesn't quit over there. That long, long list right there. So, tons of earthquakes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and go to the American stuff. And basically, we got this quake up in Newfoundland. Four point four point nine mag, and then we go all the way across out in the Pacific Ocean, and we have. No, three quarters of the way to Hawaii. We got that one out there. Now. So basically, maybe connected laterally, dry laterally, in a north south westerly direction. And then, yeah, this is the freshest stuff that we got in the United States here. There's your deal three to seven days. A lot of quakes there. And then we go to this listing here. You know, it's 2012. We'll go down through here. A lot of 5.9, 6.1 in Chile, and I guess that's not very good information for people, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. The fear monger monster cover uppers. So I got a lot of 5.9. Chile's just been going crazy, and like I showed you the recent there. So 6.1 not showing up on any some graphs anyway. That's that, that but this gets uh, this basically gets shared with you. So that's all in the eighth so far already. So she's already heating up again some more. She's had some more quakes. It just ain't showing up. So live earthquake viewer really isn't the greatest thing anymore. This is a damn good site. And then also the actual factual of IntelliCast is doing a damn good job too. Okay, so I go down through this stuff. And you need to pay attention. There's uh, some 5.1s and up all over the place. Uh, some aren't highlighted on here sometimes too. That, you know, they usually highlight some of the big ones like 5.2 there and everything like that. But as you notice, we went down there like that 6.1 and stuff like that wasn't noted. And we're going to also see that when we go through here. At least they've got their action going on and everything like that. So this is a good site here because basically just people share the graphs, what actually hits, and they don't let some overlord government agency get a hold of there and start taking nicks off of the quakes and everything like that. They just read the graph, throw it, and put the information in. Okay, so basically, there's going to be some higher ones on here too. That basically 5.6 in the Philippines on the seventh on Sunday, and then so that's our latest action 4.9 AGMC. And like I showed you earlier, that stuff out there and up in Canada and out in the Pacific Ocean. So this big meteor is pretty interesting because like the we had a meteor that bounced off. But this one actually hit in Canada. Okay. Had a temporary orbit. And it happened around September 6th to September 22nd. So a lot of people didn't talk about it too much anyway. We had a glancer earlier this year, but this one actually hit. Okay. 
There's a video from UK on it. I caught it. Okay.